Hey there and welcome back. I'm Kristen Galloway, a licensed occupational therapist and dementia specialist. Let's talk today about um, people with mild dementia and helping them um, keep from losing things or misplacing things. Um, so this is a very common scenario. Um, it can be super frustrating for the person with the dementia diagnosis as well as their caregivers. Um, so typically the things that are misplaced or lost are things that they really need to have access to and they use them all the time. So this could be a cell phone, it could be keys, uh, it could be glasses, it could be remote control for the TV. Um, so these items get misplaced in the house um, and the person isn't able to find them and then all heck breaks loose because everyone is uh, on the task of trying to find the item. Um, so let's talk about some of the simple ways that we can try to make this process a little bit easier um, and not let the items get misplaced in the first place. So the first thing is to designate a, a home for everything, designate a place where that item goes when it's not in use. Um, so this could be as simple as putting a little command hook next to the front door and hanging um, the keys on there, um, attaching them to a, um, a key finder within the handbag if it's a lady, um, always keeping them maybe in a dish Right, so we can have a dish on the countertop and we can even um, put a label on it because that's my second tip is labeling everything. Um, so keys and either put a picture or a label with a word on it. Both of those things are very helpful. Um, but making sure that we create this habit or this routine of always putting this item back in that same place. The earlier you start this, um, this habit of keeping these items in the same place, the better off it's gonna be because obviously as we, um, have individuals with dementia who are progressing through the disease process, the sooner they create a habit um, or learn a certain way to do things, the longer that's gonna stick with them. Um, so again, making a home for everything and then labeling it. So this can, like I said, that you can put the keys by the door, we can have a little dish for the glasses and go ahead and put a label on the outside of the dish or a picture with the glasses and the label on it. Um, the third um, tip is to create backup copies. Um, so have an extra set of reading glasses that the caregiver keeps in a specific location um, and is only accessible, you know, when it's crisis time, when some, the other original pair is lost and we need to pull those out just to solve the problem in the moment until we can find the original pair. Make backup copies of keys, um, certainly any kind of um, wills or legal documents. We always want to have backup copies of those. Um, so anything that's important, we want to have backup copies of it. Um, the next tip would be to learn their safe places. So an individual with dementia a lot of times understands that these items are important and useful and they need to have access to them all the time. And so they will um, try to put them in a safe place or a place for safekeeping, right? So they, they recognize that it's really critical that they not lose these items and then they go ahead and put them somewhere and then can't remember where they've placed them. And so if caregivers can learn where these safe places are, it will make it easier for you to find these items in the long run. So this might be a scenario where someone's putting something in the very back of their sock drawer or, you know, goodness knows where else, but um, it would, in their mind, is a safe place, but somewhere that they don't always remember. And so once you learn these hiding locations or these storage locations, it will make it easier for you to find these things in the long run. Um, but that can take time. The next tip is to use technology. So there are lots of um, items in the market now, like Apple Air Tags um, or other other brands of um, tags or uh, sensors that you can attach to either a set of keys or a cell phone or something. So that um, if that item is misplaced, you can use an application on your phone as a caregiver to go ahead and locate that item that has been misplaced. Um, and then another um, piece of technology that's really helpful is security cameras, and so. These can be used um, to record perhaps where someone is, is placing things um, when they think they're putting them away for safekeeping. The caveat with security cameras is that there is, um, you know, obviously a privacy issue and you would have to work that out uh, within your own family um, as far as whether that's appropriate or not. Okay, next tip is to remove clutter. So um, we know that we wanna minimize distractions in the environment to help people with dementia be more independent 
and um, function at a higher level. And so even if we have a dish for the glasses or the keys or something labeled and set out for them, if it's on a nightstand that has, you know, pill bottles and books and, you know, all these other items piled up, then that might not be super helpful. What we want to do is clear away all the clutter, make it um, very um, easily visible, easily recognizable. Um, that's why we use the labels. That's why we use signs with the photograph on it. Um, and, but we want to bring this item out and separate it out so that it's really easy for them to visually identify it. Okay, and then the last thing, and again, I mentioned this a little bit earlier, was to lock up um, important items, make copies, and then lock them up. So if you have legal documents, um, such as a will or a power of attorney or a health uh, medical directive, um, or if you have medical reports that are really important that you need to keep on hand, I highly recommend that you make extra copies of those and then keep them in a safe, whether that's just a little fireproof safe or a wall safe or a, a safe deposit box at the bank. Um, it can save a lot of time and hassle if you're able to have a backup copy of those documents and you know that it's locked up for safekeeping. So those are my top tips to help individuals with mild dementia um, keep from misplacing items and or help you find them if it does happen. So hopefully you found that helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content and of course subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Thanks so much for watching.